times. And so uh, as we come, I want to invite uh, Carolyn Pogue to come forward. Uh, Carolyn has some family in <coughs> Yellowknife, but also is a, a writer and a poet, and she's, going, and she's going to invite us to hear some words as we light our Christ candle. So welcome, Carolyn. Imagine where my mind has been all week, uh, wondering and worrying about my family, my friends, and also the land. I lived in uh, Yellowknife for nearly 20 years, and I found that I, I'm tied to that place. And when the fires were burning, I was thinking first of the animals and the land, until, of course, then it it moved closer to Hay River, um, Fort Smith, Fort Fitzgerald, Yellowknife. All of those communities, Enterprise, those are communities where I, that I know and where I visited in July. I was in Yellowknife in July for a family reunion. And uh, it was the smoke moved in the week that we were there. And of course, it has never left. And so, the land also is my, my concern and my prayer. My daughter is a water scientist in the Northwest Territories and she travels around the Western Arctic uh, checking on levels and changes because of climate change that are taking place all up there, all over the place in the rivers and in the lakes. I'm well aware of the the trauma that the waters are suffering too as the land uh, collapses and as the land burns. Um, a number of years ago, Bill and I, my husband, were tr driving up to Yellowknife again and I said, we need to stop at all the rivers and pray. And we did that and when we traveled in the US, we stopped at big rivers there too to pray, to sing, to offer tobacco, because we knew how much the rivers and lakes suffer. And I wrote these uh, words after having uh, done that. Make prayers for the life of the rivers. Make prayers for the creeks and the streams. Make prayers to the holy mystery. Make prayers for Earth Mother's dreams. Pray for what lives in the water. Pray for what lives by the shore. Pray for whatever drinks water. Pray for all that and more. Ask for courage to protect the rivers. Ask for hope to heal shorelines and streams. We are the ones called to action to restore the Earth Mother's dreams. Fall down on your knees by the water fall down on the muck, sand, or slate, fall down in humility, hope, and love, and pray that it's not too late. <laughs> 